ask you real quick, I wanted to go back to what you said about the Ouija board. When you had this experience when you were younger, did you did it follow you for a little bit? Like, did it follow you, obviously, like, in a long time in life? Like, how long did it, like, follow you? Because the reason why I'm asking this is I had an experience with a Ouija board when I was 15 years old that kind of got me believing in something more than myself. And mm -hmm. um, it was before I had my near-death experience. And I tell you, like, it followed me for so long. And it was definitely a negative entity because, like, I was so depressed. I was... my personality changed uh, I freaked out on my my grandparents every single day where like I was screaming matches in their face like I would never do that you know what I'm saying so why you know all of a sudden that happened so did it affect you in a certain way like that not really it might I do was at my friend's house when we did it so it mm. might have affected them oh okay not really me because we're in their house she was <laughs> like yeah you you deal with the demon I'm out <laughs> we did two exorcisms in it at Hinsdale House. That is awesome. That's yeah, a, you know that's a scary in thing. To go through. I'm sitting in right now. <laughs> that's a scary thing to go through. You know to watch. I'm saying to like to witness and to to see like if it's a serious you know exorcism, it can be very very serious. From some people that I've talked to that seen it, and from some things that I've seen myself. Talking with the source.